Hey guys, it's Corey with Moda Vitality. Today, I wanna to talk all about nitrates in drinking water and hopefully clear up some of the confusion. So before I start, I just wanna say I'm not a doctor. A lot of this stuff is health related, but I just wanna clear up some of the confusion and hopefully make you not scared to talk about nitrates. One reason nitrates are so scary to talk about is simply because it is health related. And elevated levels of nitrates can actually cause a condition called methemoglobinemia, which basically doesn't allow your blood to carry the oxygen it needs. Another word for methemoglobinemia is blue baby syndrome. So in with babies that have this condition, they actually turn blue because they're not getting enough oxygen within their body. So it can be a really scary thing to talk about for water treatment professionals. The good news is it really only affects infants that are below six months and nitrates are really easy to detect in the water. Another reason why nitrates are scary to talk about is simply because we hear about them on the news all the time. Whether I'm on Facebook or watching CNN, there's always a story about elevated levels of nitrates in water. Nitrogen is actually essential for our bodies to function correctly, but nitrates are formed when nitrogen and oxygen or ozone combine, and that's what causes problems. Nitrates are actually pretty common and come from plant and animal waste as well as industrial smoke. Fertilizers actually have potassium and ammonium nitrate in them, and that's where most of the nitrates come from. So I live in Iowa, and if you don't know, we're actually known for corn, so we have a ton of cropland all around us, and we put a lot of fertilizer on the grounds. Now, when I'm testing people's water, especially if I'm on a private well out in the country with a lot of farmland all around, or you know, on a cow lot or something like that, I will always test for nitrates, and it's actually very common in this area to test very elevated amounts of nitrates. So, you know, it's not a big deal for people um, for the most part, but if you have a baby or, you know, an elderly relative living with you, that's when it becomes a challenge. The public water supply typically does actually a pretty good job of taking out the nitrates for the city. But actually the city where I live in right now, it's very common to test levels of at least five parts per million in the city water. Now, that does not reach the EPA maximum contaminant level, which is 10 parts per million, but it's still more than I personally want in my water. So I always check even if I'm on public water supply. That being said, private wells are much more at risk of having elevated levels of nitrates. So like I said, the EPA has actually put a limit of 10 parts per million as the maximum contaminant level for nitrates. What that means is that on a citywide level, municipal water, they can't test above 10 parts per million. They need to keep it below that. That's actually a pretty high number. And a lot of times in Iowa, we do exceed that. The good news is it's really easy to test for nitrates. There's actually two common ways to test for it. One is a field test, which can actually be done at the house. When I'm testing people's water out you know, in a farmhouse in the middle of the country, I test for nitrates right there in their kitchen. I always let them know that because it's a health-related test, if I detect any levels of nitrates, to go ahead and get a lab test done. Now, lab tests are the second type of testing method for nitrates that are commonly done. And the reason I suggest them to get a lab test done is simply because they're a little more accurate than something that I'm performing right at the kitchen. Lab tests are always a good way to test not only for nitrates, but also a whole range of other contaminants that could be in the water. Not that they are, but they could be and I always recommend getting that lab test done. We actually at Moda Vitality sell both types of tests. We sell a test kit that can be done just at your house. I personally recommend the lab test just because it tests for all those other contaminants, but it's totally up to you. If you want to test for nitrates or anything else in the water, feel free to check it out. So if you do decide to get a lab test done or just perform a field test at your house and it comes back with elevated levels of nitrates, the good news is they're super easy to take care of. Nitrates 
are not absorbed through the skin. So it's not always necessary to take care of them for the whole house. A lot of people choose only to take care of it for drinking water. So a reverse osmosis system is actually the easiest way to take care of nitrates when it comes to the drinking water. Now, they won't always take out 100% of the nitrate, so be aware of that. And every brand of reverse osmosis is rated to take out different levels of nitrates, but typically it's in the high 80s or the low 90 percentile. So the second way to remove nitrates for the whole house is with a anion resin exchange system. So basically it looks kind of like a softener. It even uses salt to regenerate, but it has anion resin inside of the unit. So since nitrates are negatively charged, they're gonna, atta they're gonna attach themselves to the positively charged resin beads inside of the, um, the exchange unit, and it's going to remove the nitrates for the whole house. Again, sometimes that's overkill. Personally, I'm only concerned about the water that goes in me when it comes to nitrates, so I'm not too concerned about taking them out for the whole house. It's also a little bit cheaper to install a reverse osmosis system, and reverse osmosis systems uh, uh, work to remove a larger amount of contaminants from the drinking water. So again, nitrates are nothing to be super concerned about. If you have an infant in the home that's less than six months of age, an elderly person, or someone with a weakened immune system, you should definitely look into getting a test for nitrates. Even if you don't have any of those people, it's always a good idea to test for nitrates. The Water Quality Association recommends getting tested if you are on a private well at least once a year. Hopefully this helps clear up some of the confusion around nitrates. Please like and subscribe to this video and this YouTube channel as it helps us as we continue to create more informational content like this for both water treatment specialists, dealers, and just the public. So thanks again, and don't be afraid of nitrates.